In this video, you'll see a step-by-step -step guide on how to audit within your RESCO CRM. First, to enable auditing, RESCO CRM uh, audit feature is actually turned off by default. So once you enable it, the CRM automatically creates logs for the changes that are created. Use the customization console that is part of your RESCO CRM desktop organization to turn auditing on. Simply go to settings, choose the option configure server from the list and start auditing by ticking the box right next to it. The change is now saved on the server and now we can jump back to the settings area where we first came from. Turn the auditing of a field or entity you'd like to track on. So let's click on the server entities. And what would you like to monitor or analyze? We'll demonstrate it on an example in our accounts. If you choose accounts to be audited, you'll be redirected to the properties settings. See the note with a little box on the left? By selecting it, you'll be able to enable auditing for this particular entity for a specific account. So save and close. When the list is complete, the entities appear, and you can notice that the account audit is enabled. Go one step back to the general settings area and select auditing. Now we'll be able to monitor and analyze for whatever it is that we need by simply using a filter. So now that we're all set, we'll get a full view of the changes that have been made and we'll utilize the filter to help us track only what really matters to us. Perhaps you'd like to see only very recent, let's say a month old modification, or you need to get an overview of specific selected entities. You choose. The auditing in RESCO CRM lets you distinguish whether the change was made on a server or the mobile app and also shows you who made it. This is a long list of other audit attributes RESCO CRM enables for you to monitor. What type of an operation did each change stand for? Was it a change in particular, such as a record, a scheme or schema, a system, or even user access? You can create, update, or delete records. In changing your scheme or your schema of your RESCO CRM organization, when you create, update, or delete any entity or any attribute, then you have a more complex operation or situation you can come from, a system one. That includes enabling and disabling audit entities, audit attributes, and audit organizations, and also deleting the audit log itself. You also have an opportunity to track the access to learn whether the user accessed RESCO CRM via the web or web services, and on top of that, you may check when each synchronization started and ended. Filter the list not only according to an operation, but also to a type of an event, if it was an update, a creation, a deletion, or others. And now we're going to show you how to audit a selected record. If you decide to choose one record here, our first account is the Apollo Apartment Business Building. You will see the info about the account itself. What if you just realize that the building is not in Chelsea, but in Boston? Simply type Boston in the field. Going back to the auditing section, we can see that the account modifications at the very top of the list were made. The last two columns point out a difference between the old Chelsea and a new value Boston. Simple as that. Here's proof of how it really works. So let's leave the settings and the console and go to the home section in your RESCO CRM desktop client. Then simply go to the accounts and select the one you audited and check its address. It already shows you the new value, which was our city in Boston. Last but not least, exporting the list of audited entities in fields. We're able to simply create a CSV file to have it all in one place by hitting the export button. If you found this useful, don't hesitate to drop us a line at mobilecrm at resco.net to get a full overview of what Resco CRM has to offer.